Are you buying into this Buffalo thing? Like, it's shaping up for week 18. First of all, Buffalo looked like they were trying to exercise some demons yesterday. It looked like they was play they played that game for Jim Kelly and Bruce Smith and Scott Norwood and Thurman Thomas and Andre Reed and Marv Levy. Like it looked like they, were they had some shit to get off their chest yesterday. But it's shaping up for Buffalo to face Miami with the AFC East title on the line in Week 18. Are you buying into Buffalo? Because I know how skeptical you've traditionally been of the Buffalo yeah. Bills. No, I, I I buy into you know who I buy I into too. with Buffalo. Josh Allen. Who? I just buy into Josh Allen. I, I, I'm I'm a I am a Josh Allen consumer. I'm a consumer of, of that product. But everything else about the team, no, I don't I don't trust Buffalo. See, at this time of year, Michael, you know, I'm just starting to get to the point. Do I trust you or not? In, in, in my sports teams, in my relationships, in my everyday, just my everyday interactions, my everyday errands. It's do I trust this or not? Do I trust you ways when you tell me to go down that road? I don't know. I don't trust it. Do I hmm. trust this team? Do I trust this head coach? Do you trust this coach? Not... Let's let's have the conversation. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, of course. Uh, but but of course. But of course. <laughs> always, always, always. Let's talk. Hey, let, listen. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's put it on the table. <laughs> that was that was deep. That was deep. You know, deep. That's it. I like. So, I like that. So no, okay. I don't. I don't trust. I don't trust the Buffalo Bills though. So no, uh, I'm not buying it because they they've done this. They've done this. They get you to the point. It, first of all, they shouldn't be in this position, and now they're playing catch up. It's just too hard to play catch up. As impressive as they were yesterday, and I love when people say nobody wants to play Buffalo. Well, we don't have to. I, I, we may not have phrase, to because yeah. right. Yeah, because right. because if, no, but if actually, everything but actually holds, we do want to play. They're gonna be watching. Actually, we do want to play them. <laughs> Right, but actually we do want to play them because nobody I don't care where I play because if I don't like I want to be in the playoffs damn who you play like that whole attitude, like nobody wants to play them like no I would like to be in a position to play yeah. whoever because they have a seven of us going you know so I I'm not, right. I'm not in the business of be like oh I want to avoid them like no I'm trying to get there and that's my point about the and right AFC. now right now they're nine you have they're nine and there's seven of us okay but you have three wild card teams all led by a backup quarterback Jacksonville's probably gonna be looking at a backup quarterback this week, and they haven't been consistently great. Congratulations, Kansas City. You beat what's left of the New England Patriots. They got their problems. Other than Baltimore, who we both been, you know, on that train. Other than Baltimore, yeah. talk about trust. Ain't nobody else to trust. Cause Miami, like Miami got the what's the, okay, if the Cowboys came in on the road, Miami don't beat good teams. At least not consistently. So it's like, right. you know. Who are you sitting up there actually like I told you before Cleveland's deep hell Cleveland might be the team I trust the most I trust Cleveland, Cleveland to fight. travels if nothing else Cleveland, Cleveland gonna travels fight. they they will fight you that's right Cle like Cleveland will show up they will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you they will make it interesting it will come down to the last play probably a Dustin Hopkins field goal but Joe Flacco Miles Garrett and whoever else is left because I've lost track of Cleveland's injuries they will fight you I trust them to fight you. I trust Baltimore to beat your ass. Other than that, I can't say I trust anybody more than I trust Bu uh, Buffalo, especially with well, the Josh I, Allen and now a running I know, game. Yeah, I know. I know they beat uh, Kansas City, but if it came down to Kansas City versus Buffalo, are you going to go with Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes? I'm going to simplify it. This I'm year, simple, this know, year, it's more than that. I'm going with Buffalo. Andy, Andy, Believe it or not, this so year you I'm going with Buffalo. This Andy year, Reed, yes. right now, Andy Reid, Patrick right here, Mahomes right versus Sean yes. McDermott. And Josh right Allen? here right now right here right now. I would take Ooh, Buffalo this year. I, I would take that. Buffalo right here right now. I mean on body of work if it's body of work. Sure. You're going with with and you know the people who've been there done that got the literally got t-shirts. But yeah, this year yeah, because the, right now week 15. Give me Buffalo in terms of who I trust who I trust who I trust Buffalo. That's who who. me me. Right that's who Buffalo me right now Buffalo. Oh, uh. Oh, that's good. That's that's a good call too. Good reference. Yeah, you, know, you have me go, you. Uh, going to the archives. I'm good for one. Um, I'm good for one in the, but, every now and then. But I th I think tell me if you agree with this uh, in all sports, but especially football. That if you've won a championship and you still got your group, you still got your crew together. It hasn't been disbanded. You win a championship and everybody's gone other places. But the crew that won a championship, even if you start to go through something, you got an advantage. You got an advantage over everybody who hasn't been through that. You got an advantage 
that with that Kansas City, they have been the target. They have been they've had to reinvent themselves. Their first yeah. championship team is a little different than well, not a little different, a lot different than their second championship team. They got more defense now. They got some scars now that they've been able to overcome. They do. So they do. they've tra they've trailed in some big games, including the Super Bowl and last year the conference championship game. Back to back, they're trailing in big games where it looks like they're going to lose and they pull it out. So I think Kansas City has ex has experience with being the target and still overcoming. Beckham, uh, not Beckham, <laughs> Buffalo. Shout out to my son Beckham. Uh, but Buffalo has experience with being the target, but falling short. They've just yeah. fallen short when it really matters. Yeah. So I don't trust them. Okay. They're not going to make Fair the playoffs. Enough. Hey, thank you for watching brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. Now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM channel 85.